What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to be in and out of reason and in and out of recycle. I'm going to show you the differences, and this should let you know if you want to pick up recycle or not. So I have this sample that I'm going to mess with in both of them. I like it for the chorus so I can use that in a beat and then arrange it however I want to and add some accompaniment to it, whatever. So the first thing you gotta do is uh, double click it and bounce it to a Rex file. So now that I've got this sample as a Rex, Rex file, I'm going to go to Song Sample Contain Settings. This right here, song self contained settings. I'm gonna make sure this isn't checked. And I'm gonna save it to the desktop so that I can open it for you. Cool, so this is what Recycle looks like when you first start it. It might be on a different window, but you're just gonna click what you wanna open. You can't open an MP3 file, so I'll make sure mine was a Rex file. And this is all the slices that Reason had already applied to the sample. So if I want to get rid of some of these, I could just change the sensitivity and I could do my own chops. What Reason is missing is the sensitivity chop for auto chop. Of course, a lot of people like to do their own slices, which is completely fine. In most cases, a lot of cases, that's better, has more feeling. And just using the the 16 16th slices and stuff like that. So you have more flexibility with your samples in recycle than you would in reason as far as the auto chop goes. You also have this envelope option right here, transients, EQs, and it comes with presets if you wanted to use the presets. So if I was to chop my own samples, it's the same process as doing it in Reason. So let me get this pen tool. I could do one there, do one here, and I'm not going to get too exact with it just for the sake of time. And uh, you got a sound tool. So it's pretty cool. Um, in order to use these, you have to make sure this preview button is on. You could silent slices if you would like to. Um, Click on it, it will silence it for you. I believe you can only silence one at a time. Let me check if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, one at a time. Which is, I guess, that could be another pitfall of recycle. You can't silence slices, but you can't silence slices in, in reason either. So, it's cool to have at least one. If you wanted to silence them, the reason you just have to delete them. There is no way to chop off uh, anything in the middle. You can only chop off what's on the left side or something on the right side just by dragging this. It's just like the sample editor inside uh, the samplers in like NNXT and the NN19 and stuff like that, where you can go in and click in and edit the sample. Same with the NN Nano. So I have these EQ options. Normally within Reason you have to go into a separate window to do this. But um change the high cut, low cut.
envelope. Now, one thing about envelope, I must say, um, if you if you like to time stretch your sam samples in reason so that you don't have silences in between your your slices, then I would go with that because if you're using the stretch option, once you export your reason your uh, rex file and you import it into reason, it's gonna have like a delay after it, and that delay isn't always pleasing if you decide to slow down your tempo after all. So I would turn this down anyways. So it's completely silent after the sampling. You can mess with the transients if you would like to. You got presets here. Drum cleanup. I wouldn't even use that in there. You can. But I prefer to use, uh, what is it? Unmixed drums. So from here, I would first, before I even did anything, I would set my bars and my beats. Another thing I want to say is uh, to get rid of like the, the pop sound before your samples. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I would just turn on the envelope, bring the attack up a little bit so it's smoother. Just take away a uh, little quick sound, some of the edge. Another thing you'll notice when you're chopping samples in a cycle is that your slices will have this lock on it and the sensitivity slices will just be a regular slice so you can get rid of those as you need. If you wanted to just start with these slices, the auto chop slices, and you can use those and just delete the ones that you don't want. Um, delete slice. Alright, so I got all my slices done, so I'm just going to drag this, it doesn't move with you, but drag this to the last slice, and I'm going to chop, chop the rest of that off by right, going the process and hitting crop loop. Alright, so I got my sample all chopped up, now what I'm going to do is load it up into a Kong, turn this on. Nurse Rex Loop Player. Find my file, which is on my desktop name Kong Ready. Load that. Then flip this around and put like 12 of these on chunk trade mode for the hit type. Then I'm gonna flip that around and uh, drum assignment. I'm gonna put these on one so that they all route to the nurse player. Now, this one didn't go. I got it on that one. Now, each of them should have their own separate pad. So now I could play each individual pad either with my, my drum pads on my MPK or I could use the, the piano keys. So that's all I have for you today. That is how you bounce out a Rex file from Reason, chop it up and recycle, export it from Recycle, import it into Reason via Kong, and then lay out a pattern. Next, I will just finish my beat. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely, let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture.